Ah, yes. In the inner sanctum of the SCG, you can smell the mahogany. The plywood, anyway. <laughs> you love playing here? Awesome, yeah, it's the best. Um, I'm a bit of a cricket fan as well, so it's sort of, um, yeah, it's pretty cool to sort of come into these sheds and, uh, yeah, experience a sort of good bit of history as well. What about starting at hooker? How did that feel? <laughs> no, it's pretty, um, I was pretty nervous at the start of the week, actually, when, uh, when Robbo told me, but, um, yeah, I'd, I'll play anywhere for this team, and it's, um, yeah, it's one of those things that you just, just got to play where the coach tells you, I suppose, so I'm always willing to do that. Now, you're now at a 40-20. Do you know as soon as it comes off your foot? Um, would you believe it if I didn't didn't really plan to do it? It sort of helped that it was a bit wet and it um, just skidded over the sideline. So I was, um, yeah, I was, I'll claim it, but um, no, I wasn't really planning to do it. What do when you look over and you see Luke Kerry with his shirt off? Do you think they've let the ball boy in? <laughs> well, I can't really talk that much. You know, that's why I've left mine on. <laughs> but so I'll, um, I'll leave it on for the time being. Well, you're outstanding. Thanks, Brady. Thank well done, Drew. Let's get over here. We've got oh, Cassie. Hey. How you doing? All right, what's going on here? Yeah, a bit of off-season surgery. Yeah. How was today? Yeah, it was better. It was obviously not perfect and a bit disappointed in the second half there, but, mate, to get a win, it feels good. you got a few lads out there on the other team you know and you play against, especially Jake. What's it like running into Jake Trebojevic in a game? Mate, it's a pleasure. He's the world's <laughs> nicest bloke. Does talking, he apologise? I was just talking with Billy. You see that one where he smoked Billy at the end there and he came after the game like, mate, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, mate. This is the best bloke ever. <laughs> He's too nice, isn't he? Mate, you can, you can never fault Jakey boy. Did that feel better? I feel like more like the Roosters? Exactly, mate. I think the way we started the game, uh, we, can, we can be happy with that, but I think that there's still a lot that we need to work on. But, mate, we started playing like the Roosters again tonight, which feels good. All right, well done, brother. See if I can get the coach over here. Sammy, killed it. Outstanding. The ball boy. Well done. Ready. <laughs> Robbo. Mate, I was only in the distance. You're very selective with the words when you're talking to the boys. What was the message? Uh, it's round two, so we, you know, we we asked for a fair bit this week on a six-day turnaround, and they um, for them to nail it tonight, it's pretty big after one game like we played last week. I thought that was a huge improvement. Like that was bigger than just a one-game leap. So I was really uh, proud of them. But it's also, you know, it's about building your foundation for the season in that the first couple of months. So I was really proud of what I saw tonight. Talk about their foundation. You would have been happy with the halves they worked together today. What allowed that to happen? Yeah, so I gave a rap to a few of the guys, but especially the spine. Those, those. <laughs> Stay here, Teddy. So those, um, I mean, what they did in this week, they knew they, the combination wasn't great this week. So they spent some time, a lot of time together this week, talked about it, and then they nailed it. You know, the way that Sammy started the game, uh, Drew starting at hooker, and then Connor adding that impact. And the way that Kez and Ted led him around, it was—I um, thought it was a big, it was a huge leap forward for us tonight. Well done, mate. Thanks, mate. All right, we got the captain. All sweet. Yeah. Yeah, all good. Caution, always. Had a couple of big weeks. Kalen Ponga last week. Tom Trebojevic this week. Does that affect the way you think about what you're going to do for your team? Um, no, nah, not not personally. I, I, I feel like. Externally, there's always a lot of lot of talk about the matchups. So many great fullbacks in our game, but I mean, as a team, that's you know, we had a game plan to shut down Tommy as, as best as possible, and we did that, um, which is really pleasing. But yeah, individually, I just focus on myself and our team. Did you watch the game last night? I watched the last ten minutes. I sort of don't, I sort of like to not think about or watch too much footy before a game. Just like to relax and watch a movie, but. Um, I saw the score and turned it on. It was that last, yeah, last five, ten minutes. Crazy. Full moon stuff. You got Latrell next week. What about Latrell? How different is Latrell researching what he does compared to a Tom Draboyevic? Yeah, Tommy's um, very ready to be anywhere, pop up anywhere around the rock, out the back. Whereas Trell's sort of got that, that skill and that touch on the end of their line, which that's what South play a lot of their shapes out the back, out the back with Cody and Trell. So. Um, yeah, you just got to, they're, they're a tough team to shut down. They showed last night when they, when they nailed their skill, they come up with some tries. They just weren't doing that early last night. But, um, yeah, it's a big, big game for our edges to sort of shut down Cody and Trell. A big thing I thought tonight, and being fullback, was how many tries the Roosters stopped. There was a period where Manly got on in control, and it just seemed to be so many times where you made tackles on the try line. Like, how... What does that do to your confidence in the team? Yeah, that's massive. That's, that's how you win premierships, defending your goal line and 
Uh, we spoke about that's that's so important for us. You know, last week was actually wasn't too bad. Our goal line day was pretty good. We just gave up shitty well, little tries um, of errors. But um, to start our year with the goal line day we showed tonight and last week, it's a, it's a pretty good start. That's it for us down here in the inner sanctum. <laughs>